We're gonna take a look at the 8,000 meter mitt from Marmot. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit overkill for a day like today, uh, but wanted to give you a close look at the features for this mitt uh, for those folks that are seriously considering going out into some pretty rough, rugged, or high elevation weather. So the 8,000 meter mitt is designed for some really serious cold weather. This is gonna be an expedition style mitt. Uh, it's gonna be something that if you're gonna do a summit of uh, Rainier or honestly, any, any 8,000 meter peaks, this would potentially be a mitt that you would consider taking with you. So the 8,000 meter mitt is a component mitt. So you've got an inside piece of insulation, separate mitt that's gonna come out. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, and you do have an outer shell that's insulated as well. So the outer shell here is constructed from a Gore-Tex Packlite fabric. So it's 100% waterproof and breathable. It's a pretty durable, rugged construction. On the palm side, you see, you've got a solid piece of leather. This is a real really thick leather, good construction here. You do get some seaming points uh, as well as contours around the mitt here. So it fits well. It's gonna fairly as easily as a large mitt like this can grasp onto poles of some sort. Uh, you've got a couple extra bonus features here. It's a little bit of reflective material at the tip here, as well as a clip for carabiners. And what that means is when you clip it to a carabiner, the mitt will hang down. That way, ice, snow, drizzle, whatever doesn't fall inside the mitt. Make sure it keeps the inside of them nice and dry when they're not in use. The mitt has a one-handed adjustment at the wrist here. Uh, so you have a nice slide lock strap there. You can easily manage that with one hand. You do get a little bit of elasticing in here that kind of helps secure that fit in the hand in such a large roomy mitt. And on the side here, you can see Marmot has a real nice design here. This is the, what's gonna pull in your gauntlet. And you've got kind of a one-handed pull out here. Keeps the straps on the outside of the forearm so they are out of the way if the wind's flapping and you happen to have your arm up, or you're using a pole or a tool. This piece isn't on the inside potentially flapping you in the face, so it's here on the outside. Then this red tab here is all you do is pull that with one hand, releases the whole thing. It's a nice, smooth, easy adjustment, easy to do with the other mitt on your hand as well. Inside, to secure this mitt to your hand, there is uh, a safety leash. So you can see I've got it attached to my wrist here. Allows the mitt to dangle. You can take your hand out, use it for something else without having to worry about dropping the mitt. And easily slide your hand back in. I did mention earlier that this is a component mitt. So you've got a separate mitt on the inside that is completely removable. It's a nice bright yellow color, so you can't lose it. And it is insulated with 700 fill power goose down. Very compressible, very warm. Uh, so it's a real nice design. You can see you've got some reinforcement. This is just a little heavier fabric here in the black. And you've got a bit of a silicone print here that really helps with the grip. Uh, inside of this mitt, you have a single kind of a trigger finger design where there's a piece of material between that index finger and the other three fingers. So you do get the ability to kind of have a little bit more dexterity with this piece than you normally would with just an open mitt liner. It also helps when it is inside the larger shell mitt to give you a little bit of dexterity with that index finger. The outer top portion of the mitt does have a really lightweight layer of Primaloft insulation in it. So if you're using the outer shell by itself, it does have a little bit of insulation quality to it. Now, the inside of it also has, I've turned this inside out here, you can see on the back of the hand, you've got uh, a little bit of this like dry climb, super lightweight, very soft wicking material, and a little bit of a thicker fleece here on the uh, where the hand is. So it's real comfortable if you're wearing it by itself without the other mitt inside of it. And it is definitely gonna draw, draw moisture out of the mitt if your hands are warm and pass it out through that gore fabric. The inside of the down mitt liner also has this really lightweight, soft, dry climb wicking material as well. This is gonna be very comfortable for cold hands and helps manage moisture as well if you're on the move and your hands are heating up. So the 8,000 meter mitt from Marmot, very well designed, super warm, weather protected, insulated mitt, waterproof as well. Uh, it's gonna be fantastic for anyone that's looking to do any sort of cold weather mountaineering type expeditions.